It's time for Online Tecmo Super Bowl. We have another exhibition between Trojan 1979 as the Minnesota Vikings against Turbro as the Washington Redskins. Turbro and I went back and forth, finally got a game scheduled, and we used the matchmaking Madison ROM, which selected this matchup for us. So I'm player one with the Vikings, he's player two with the Redskins. I'm actually glad this was selected because I, in the past I have struggled with teams that do not have good quarterback play. And this is a matchup where running the ball uh, can be extra important, but you got to be able to get those big plays when you need it with the Vikings. Whiskey Wade Wilson is not always on his game, and so we got to make smart decisions with him. They don't have a great running attack with Herschel Walker, Rick Fenney, but sometimes they can get it done. So we're selecting our playbooks here. He's going to be rocking Mark Rippon, and he's got the three great receivers, Sanders, Monk, and Clark. Uh, he's going to have great defenders in the secondary, Mark Mayhew. He's going to have Todd Bowles. He's going to have Walton, and he's going to have the extremely fast Daryl Green to work with. So that's really the strength on the defense uh, with the Redskins is their secondary. Their linebackers uh, are are not, they're kind of just mediocre, and their defensive line is real decent. But as far as man defenders go, you're going to be controlling someone from their secondary almost all of the time, if not all of the time. On offense, there's no great mystery here. They have a slow statuesque quarterback in Mark Rippon. They've got really good receivers. And then, of course, you've got the two great running backs in Ernest Biner, who's going to be your primary runner, and then you're going to also have Gerald Riggs, and oftentimes people put him at tight end. Uh, Kelvin Bryant is also on this team who is sort of a flexible player. Uh, if he gets into good and Biner goes into bad, sometimes you'll see him uh, carry the load or maybe just take a second running play. And then, of course, you will see uh, oftentimes Gerald Riggs at that tight end position or as the lead blocker. So here we go. Minnesota Vikings versus Washington Redskins. He wins the toss and elects to defer to the second half. Chip Lowmiller, who's actually a decent special teams weapon for the Washington Redskins, kicks off. And we have Herschel Walker, number 34, returning the kickoff. And we get up just near the 10-yard line. Officially the nine. And we go with a run two. Motion play, kind of borrowing the default, part of the default playbook for the Washington Redskins with Herschel Walker. Looks like he is leaning towards using Mark Mayhew at the bottom. That time he does get occupied by the blocker and we can maneuver just enough to get near the middle of the field and get that first down. First down. Run and shoot formation. Run three. Takes a chance with a dive and gets it. Facing a second and 12. I go back to the play. This time he calls it third and 17. Some frustration is setting in. If you didn't see the last video that I posted, I had about 50% or even more than 50% of the run plays called. And I had just played that game when I took this matchup. And I got extremely frustrated, and I said, you know what, I'm going for it. Which is a terrible thing to do when you are in tournament play. You need to make good decisions, and you need to forget about what happened in the last game and just move on. I couldn't. Uh, I decided I'm going to go deep. At this point, I'm praying it gets intercepted. It doesn't. It's out of the back of the end zone. Terrible throw. Whiskey Wade fails me. But I, it's really not his fault. It's my fault for even thinking that that was a good decision. It wasn't. Open up, calling run one, offset eye. He's got Bryant handling the ball there. Uh, in this situation, uh, I'm not sure why he elected to use this specific playbook. Um, I think he's better off using, you know, a more of a, a single feature option with maybe one play going to the other running back. Um, you know, I think he should be attacking the middle of the field and. Joey Browner uh, down below there. 
Uh, Merriweather uh, really isn't too much of a threat coming off the top. Uh, he is a usable man defender, but it, regardless of that, he, he, he does score here on the first possession. Give him a short field, is able to get down. What I don't like about this is if uh, Kelvin Bryant were to go in bad, or if you had uh, uh, Biner go into bad, what you have here is now you've got essentially a couple plays where you're not going to be super effective if you've got a guy that's kind of leaning on that one, um, uh, that second person. You, you need two decent backs. Uh, as it sits right now, Bryant is an average, and he, he can certainly move the ball, but that could change. Cole, uh, pass two here. Just a real terrible decision to let that go. Luckily, it gets overthrown. No one's near it. Really has no chance of completing that. Again, I'm still kind of just mentally irritated from the last game. Uh, finally get some, some yards on the ground here. Still making bad decisions. Uh, staying in the middle of the field instead of getting out of bounds. I'm uh, playing sort of prideful at this point. Disappointed that that blocker did not lock up uh, the other defender where I'd be able to have a tapping situation. Uh, so the gain is much less than it had been. Cold pass two, try to throw it up. And uh, Hassan Jones does not do the cut down. And uh, I had to look at conditions at this point because he just didn't get there in time. Uh, he goes into bad conditions, so his, his movement is, is far less than it should be. And what we decided to do here is to uh, rearrange. We really need it to be able to make that play work. So we're going to put Anthony Carter up top, and we're going to put Chris Carter down below. We're going to get Steve Jordan um, out of that position. We're going to put Herschel Walker in at tight end. And I'm checking a few things, and then we're going to have Anderson handle the ball in good condition, Alfred Anderson. And I decide to leave Fenny in as the running back too. I just didn't want anyone with poor ball control handling the, the ball at this point with the, the condition. Uh, you know, it's the straight on hitting power of uh, Steve Jordan, even in, in the slower condition is, is a better asset. He calls pass two again. This time I'm able to get it because Anthony Carter's fast enough to get to that breaking point. The overthrow happens, and so does the JJ. Takes Mark Mayhew again. A run away from him, and he seems to be sticking with that choice. Um, I'm wondering if you've seen a lot of people just go after Daryl Green and he decided that Mayhew was going to be his guy. This is interesting. I'm avoiding that guy that's diving at me. And I'm thinking I'm already over the plane here, and that I end up being out of bounds, and don't know if it was like a leg delay thing. So I'm like on the, I don't think you can be any closer than I was right there. He comes up. I didn't want to fumble. I have fourth down, and I threw it, thinking maybe, maybe he'll get there. I was pretty sure he was going to overthrow that. And at this point, you know, you can only guess so many times, and uh, Anderson was just fast enough to get there. It's hard to cover the entire field uh, with uh, with one guy. Um, Mayhew is, is certainly a, uh, a fast and very good defensive back. Um, Daryl Green might have been able to get there uh, on the opposite side there. Uh, he's faster than Mayhew, but doesn't make it we get the touchdown. And now he's inside of his 10. Mark Rippon's in good condition here. He mixes it up a little bit. He's going to have, uh, with Brian going into bad condition here, now he's got to change up his, his running strategy. And he's got Gerald Riggs in one of the running back slots. And Ernest Biner still in the mix as well. Gary Clark's in bad. Still a great receiver in bad. But now you got a situation where you've got a slow... Gerald Riggs, who is really primarily used as a blocker. This this hitting power is now handling the ball um, in these plays, so it, it limits how fast he's going to get away versus Biner uh, has that, that faster maximum speed. 
and if he gets into the open, can do a lot of damage. So he's moving the ball, but it's it's not in big chunks. Uh, with that ball control stance of the ball carriers on the Redskins, uh, they can use the entire field and not worry about uh, putting the ball on the ground like some other teams. Uh, fortunate for him there, um, even with a, a good condition ripping, it does bounce back. The route gets broken off for some reason. And there are defenders there, but no interception takes place. I decided to get back there. Um, thinking he's going to let that ball go. He doesn't, and he gets sacked. And really his only option is really to let that go. I think that's a bad sack to take in that situation. 24 yards. Um, I take Merriweather here, and I make a poor decision. So for some reason, um, I think it's Lee at the bottom. Uh, I can't remember my uh, mother DBs there uh, on the Vikings. Comes up for a run, and we call pass on this. And so we've got an uncovered Washington Redskin receiver just just gouging me. So we go from third and a mile to first down, knocking on the goal line. Just like that. What I was hoping to avoid was like a down the field JJ, aka punt situation. I was really hoping to force a bad throw, maybe interception. Here I'm able to clog up uh, with Millard forcing a third down and I really got to keep him out of the end zone here we've got a situation here he's going to be getting the ball back I really need to hold him to like at least a field goal attempt and I cannot stop him uh, for some reason I lose my speed changing direction there uh, but it, it seems like really slow down and all of a sudden he's off to the races with Rippon who's in good and then can actually make that happen um, had a lot of field to cover and the receivers were stationary, so if he completes the pass, it's a touchdown. Kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Probably could have made a little better motion that would have prevented some of that. Uh, there I do just a little bit of a delay because I want the blockers to go behind me. I'm sorry, the, 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 the drones to blow by me, and then I want my blockers to come up. Didn't really accomplish too much. I did get out past the 10, but we're at halftime, and it's going to be time to give him the ball back, so... I'm going to need some help here uh, if I want to be in this one. I'm down a touchdown. Uh, part of me thought we need to go ahead and do an onside kick. I didn't actually intend to do it. It was just one of those things where I misjudged the meter. Uh, but uh, the percentage being a lot higher as player one uh, going for that versus, say, player two. He's going through his conditions, and he goes to Humphreys. Uh, not sure his reasoning for that. He had some success with Rippon. Calls play there. Switched up to Browner. He's good on the field. He calls pass one. Uh, the big threat on this one is usually wide receiver two. But he actually comes back up to Clark. And I get a break that I needed. I need to steal possession. I did see if Clark was still in bad condition, but um, not where I would have gone with the ball, especially on that down and distance. I cycle through here and just try to get him to come up enough that I can throw it over the top to Carter. May Mayhew doesn't get there. Daryl Green gets beat. One thing I've learned against Daryl Green is for some reason he can get beat on some of these routes. Um... As fast as he is, for some reason, when the computer controls him, does it get back very well? So, uh, going down the field against Green, especially with a, a high tier receiver, is not a bad decision if you're throwing uh, across the across the field. All right, so Gerald Riggs returned the ball, stopped about the nine yard line. Here, I decided to take Browner, and we're trying to just gobble up these blockers so you get a couple yards on the play this time he goes to the pass two burn routes not there tough decision here I think he's gonna run and he looks like he's right at the marker or real close to it there uh, as far as the line of scrimmage but picks a great throw risky throw but it works out 
Uh, he makes the proper read here going down to uh, with the pass three down to that, that burn route. He had the, the drone beat. However, he was not able to make that pass. Um, we blow through the line there, occupy the space with Millard. And that lead blocker went down in a hurry. Back to Browner. Tight end and running back underneath are the threats right now. Humphreys is able to get uh, some decent yards on the ground. I didn't agree with his decision to go for it here with this spot on the field, but he does. He actually breaks away for a moment there, but uh, Dolman does catch up with him and he turns the ball over. So I, this is essentially that second possession I was talking about. Again, going up past one to Anthony Carter. I'm sorry, past two to wide receiver one on Anthony Carter. Jumping JJ. Alfred Anderson still in good condition, and we just uh, we're knocking on the door here. Does a good job um, creating some traffic there. This time I cut it back inside. Uh, he did engage the blocker, so was able to leverage that, get in, and so we've we've pulled ahead now after being down essentially two possessions and down a score. So I'm wondering how his confidence is at this point. He's got to be pretty frustrated. So it'll be interesting to see how he does here on this next possession. Gerald Riggs again, just not getting too far. Um, we've got the opening of the fourth quarter here. Probably should have checked conditions there just to see how things have changed. Uh, decided not to do that. He calls pass one and comes underneath to Calvin Bryant. He's not moving too fast right now, but he gets uh, gets a good gain on there, about 19 yards and a first down. And really, the only decision there is to take away those deep routes on pass one. That's the that's where the, the threat is, and he needs a score. So really, we're trying to keep everything in front of us if we can. Back to Browner. Get picked up by that blocker trying to... My goal there was to try to fill that uh, that running lane through the middle of the offensive line. Could not get there, and he gets a good gain. Go back to Millard. She popcorn a blocker there. I don't know who that was, but he went for a ride. Good run by Biner, and if you can just see the speed there, that's why you go with Biner. Uh, he's, he's better than everyone uh, on that team by a lot. As long as his condition doesn't tank... You're, you're, that's the guy you want to use on, on there. So uh, he finally does run over the line this time, and uh, he still gets a good gain just moving the ball on the ground with the QB. Does a real nice job methodically just taking what he can get. Puts pressure. Here, I don't know how I didn't run into him earlier there. Uh, he might have been past the marker already, but uh, it seems that I just too often I whiff on on quarterbacks with uh, man defenders, so something I'm still trying to adjust to. And try to get cute there, taking a different uh, linebacker there, just a bad decision. Should have stuck with Millard. Millard was getting it done before. And he's got the, the touchdown. That was close enough there to get a block animation with Merriweather, but no luck there. And so we're coming down near the two minute mark here. And here I'm just trying to wait for my blockers to do something. They don't move up at all. I fumble the ball and look who gets the ball. Scooped up by Anthony Carter. And it looked like he's stuck back there, is not gonna get here. So I just need to be smart, don't get tackled. A little zigzag. We've turned on the AC and we've taken the lead. So uh, a little Tecmo luck on the side here. Uh, not only to, to fumble it, but not lose it. And then have the fastest player on the on the field at the time picks it up. And there's really no catching up to him if the kicker's not... If the kicker hasn't been engaged, the kicker might be able to get there. But uh, Chip Lomir, Lomiller was nowhere to be found. And here I decided, you know what, if he wants to keep moving the ball with Riggs, 
I'm just gonna let my drones swipe at him there. He's got 35 seconds to do something, which means probably three plays or so at most. And I'm just trying not to get too deep. I still end up getting behind the receiver. Browner's just so fast. But uh, no JJs, no animations, nothing. He's got five seconds to do something here. And uh, the one play that I was concerned with was pass one. That was the one that um, seems to be do the most damage if you can hang out there long enough. We call it, he eats it, and the game's over. So uh, this game, not something that I felt like was you know, a great game played by either one of us, but, you know, there there was some back and forth, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing Turbro again. I, I think there's, uh, uh, it'd be interesting to see, you know, with different pairings, better QBs, better running backs, um, you know, high power, low power, that kind of thing. What what else uh, what else can we do that, uh, uh, in the matches with each other? So, uh, so that game felt pretty evenly matched and I hope that uh, we'll catch each other soon down the line so I'd like to thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it you know what to do hit thumbs down uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel if you like Tecmo Super Bowl if you like the commentary you like the nuts and bolts of the game uh, we definitely uh, love to have you come back check some of our other videos hit that subscribe button you'll get those in your feed um, if you're interested in getting involved in online Tecmo uh, playing real people, not just the computer online, uh, and and challenge your skills against them. We've got a great community out there to help you with that. So if you want to figure out how that's done, leave us a message in the comments and we'll get you in the right direction. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.